we're asked to sketch a graph of the function f of x equals negative three minus three cosine of pi over four times the quantity x minus four. Let's begin by determining the values of a, b, d, and c of the function in this form, which will indicate the transformation of the given function. To begin, notice a, the coefficient of cosine is negative three because of the minus here, and the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of negative three, which is positive three. But because a is negative, we do have a reflection across the midline. So let's also indicate this. Next, b is equal to pi over four. The period is equal to two pi divided by b, and therefore the period is two pi divided by pi over four. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Two pi divided by pi over four is equivalent to two pi over one times the reciprocal of pi over four, which is four over pi. Simplifying before multiplying, there's one pi and pi here and here. Notice now we just have two times four, which is eight. So the period is eight. Next, d is equal to positive four. Notice to find the value of d, we must have subtraction here. So again, because d is positive four, we do have a phase shift. d equals four indicates a phase shift or horizontal shift of right four. Next, c, the constant term, is negative three. Because c is negative three, the vertical shift is down three units. Because the vertical shift is down three units, the midline is no longer the x-axis or y equals zero, it is y equals negative three. And now let's graph the given function. To begin, let's sketch the midline of y equals negative three, which is this horizontal line here. Because the amplitude is positive three and the midline is y equals negative three, the maximum function value for the given function is negative three plus three or zero, which is here. And the minimum function value is going to be negative three minus three, which is negative six, which is here. When graphing the basic cosine function, we start along the y-axis, but because we have a phase shift of right four units, we will graph one period of the given function starting at x equals four, which is here. Because the period is eight units, we would normally graph one period of the cosine function starting at x equals four and then going out to x equals 12 because four plus eight is 12. And notice how this graph doesn't go out to 12 and therefore we will go to the left eight units, which brings us back to x equals negative four. So from x equals negative four, to x equals positive four, we will have one complete graph of the given cosine function. When we graph the basic cosine function over one period, we divide the period into four equal subintervals so that we can graph the function using the pattern of maximum, midline, minimum, midline, and maximum. So let's partition or cut the period from x equals negative four to x equals positive four into four equal subintervals. And again, the pattern is maximum, midline, minimum, midline, maximum, when A is positive. But remember, A is negative, and therefore we do have a reflection across the midline, and therefore for our cosine function, the pattern will be minimum, midline, maximum, midline, and minimum. Starting at x equals negative four on the left, we have a minimum function value of negative six, which is here, and then we have midline, and then maximum of zero, midline, and minimum. So the graph of the given function over this interval looks something like this. Now to continue to graph the function, we can copy and paste this or continue to follow the pattern. Moving to the right from this minimum, we will be back at the midline at x equals six, then the maximum of zero at x equals eight, and then back to the midline at x equals 10. So this is the graph of the given function over the provided graph. To graph this using the graphing tool, because we have a cosine function, I would probably select this graph here. Once we select this, we simply click on a minimum and a maximum, or a maximum and a minimum. So for example, we could click on this tool 
and then click on, let's say, this point here, which is a minimum, and then this point here, which is a maximum, and the given function will be graphed over the entire interval. If we did want to use this tool, we would have to click on a point on the midline, and then a maximum or a minimum. I hope you found this helpful.